Let's crochet a stitch pattern. Today we're working on the bobble stitch. The bobble stitch is a really fun stitch pattern. You can make tons of bobbles for these raised little cute designs, or you can make just a few bobbles really spread out, either in a fun pattern like either one of these, or you can just stick one on your project. I'm gonna teach you how to make a bobble today with your crochet hook, and I'll also teach you a bonus of how to change out the color, say if you want a solid color background, and make a bobble stand out in one other color, that's gonna work too. So join me today on Good Knit Kisses for some crochet. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. To get the written pattern for bobbles, please see our video description down below. We have it written for the individual bobbles to be made, but also with more bobbles or less bobbles patterns A and B. And we'll get all those in the video description below and it'll jump right over to our blog. You'll also get information on the yarn and hook that I'm using and uh, more information on the sizes that you can make. So these two patterns that I've laid out, you can actually make them in a seven by nine or nine by seven for warm up America blankets or a nice big 12 by 12 and make them into squares for a blanket for yourself. And you could also size them up into something larger if you like. So you get all of that down in the video description below as well as right and left-handed video tutorials. So be sure and click that to get that information. Let's dive right into our stitch pattern. Now we're going to be working on the wrong side of our work to make your bobble and it will um, push outward to the right side. So let's look at our sample here. Now I have a background or field of double crochet. Now you can use um, half double or even single crochet to make this look. And then whenever we turn it over on the wrong side, we're actually going to be working our stitch and it will bump out. So if you need to um, understand which is the right and wrong side, you can grab yourself a stitch marker and mark that. But first, before we begin, you're going to want to start a little sample. You could do a double crochet, single or half double. I have links down below to how to start those. It doesn't matter how many stitches you start with, just as long as you get a little sample going. Um, work in a few rows and then we will meet back up and just place a bobble. It doesn't matter where you place it. This video tutorial is just just to show you exactly how to make a bobble. So I've got three rows of double crochet going on and I will meet you back up when you're ready. Just pause your video and resume the video when ready. As always, please play through the video once and then pause it and slow it down on the playback speed in order to get it to the speed that it works for you when you're crocheting along. All right, I will see you in just a moment. All right, so you've started your sample and now we're going to work on our bobble row. Uh, when we finish this row here, we're just going to go ahead and chain one and turn. So our bobble row is going to be comprised of the bobble stitches and single crochet across. All right, so I'm just going to work up into the stitch where I want to place my bobble. So on this one, I'm just going to do, um, let's say five. I'm going this first stitch here. I've got one, two, three, four. And five and now it doesn't matter how many just wherever you want to be on yours okay so I'm going to be working all of my bobble into one stitch here and we're going to go into it several times you're going to start by yarning over and this is comprised of double crochet but we're only going to be halfway doing five of them okay so we have a starting loop here this next loop we've yarned over and we're going to go straight into that stitch here and yarn over pull up a loop and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two as if to double crochet, but we're going to leave our loop on our hook. And now we're going to repeat that again. So we're going to repeat that four more times. So we're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch, pull up a loop for yarning over, yarn over and pull through just two loops, one and two. So we should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over again, go into that same stitch, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two again. Four loops on our hook, yarn over, go through that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. We should have five loops on our hook. Now that very first loop uh, doesn't count as to the five double crochets that we're making. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into that same stitch one last time. It's going to be a little tight. 
pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two again. And now you have six loops on your hook. Now we're simply going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on our hook. Okay. And then now we're going to go into this next single crochet or this next uh, stitch right here and make a single crochet. So what you're going to do is push your bobble stitch and go into that stitch and single crochet. And that pushes this bobble stitch out like that. See, it makes a little bump. So every time you finish a bobble stitch, you're going to single crochet at least once to lock in that bobble and make it push out to the right side. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, I'm going to do um, four more. So one, two, these are single crochets, three, and four. I recommend putting uh, at least three single crochets in between your bobbles. Now, if you need them even closer, you could crowd them in um, with, uh, you know, one or two, but uh, three is a good number there. I'm just spreading this out right now. So that's five, and now I'm gonna go in and make another bobble here. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into this next stitch, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two only. We're gonna repeat that four more times. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, last one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and we have six loops on our hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over, and pull through all six. And then you can just kind of push it with your thumb and go into that next stitch and single crochet. Just like that. And then just single crochet to the end of the row or your next bobble. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and chain up. I'm gonna do three, one, two, three. Now that's because I'm doing double crochet. I'm gonna turn and then I'm simply going to double crochet across. Now this is where you can work your single crochet row or your half double depending upon whatever you were working down here. And um, let's just show going across and what those stitches look like. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into my next stitch. My turning chain is gonna count as my double crochet. And we're just going to see double crochet, that's two, and then three, and then four. Okay, and then this fifth one, this is going to be this elongated stitch in the top of the bobble. So this stitch right here is where we're going to go into. So you're just going to be stitching all along every stitch across. You're going to be putting in whatever stitch pattern you were using before and go across. So that's it. So uh, in this sample, see how now the bobble is really standing out here like that. So in this one, I have three rows of double crochet down here at the bottom. So I'll probably double crochet three more rows here and then make another row of bobbles. Maybe put one kind of in between or we can have them lined up in a little grid pattern. So I'd like to show you how to change color and make it a completely different color for your bobble. Let's go ahead and crochet a few more rows and pause your video. I will meet you back up when you're ready and we will add in a different color here. All right, we'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I wanna change my color, so I've worked up into this section where I want to place my next bobble, and I've already turned it over and continued working in this same color. Um, and before I had done my example where I went uh, five stitches in, so what you wanna do is go to, uh, I'm gonna go to five stitches in as well, but that last stitch, I'm actually gonna pull through my new color. So what you're gonna do is work up to one stitch before you want the bobble, start your single crochet, and then before you pull through that last one on that color, go ahead and move your working color, your main color, 
toward the front and kind of hold on to it with your thumb, okay? Well, the front of what you're working on right now, because remember, this is the wrong side, okay? So our tails are gonna stay at the back. And now I'm gonna pick up my yarn, okay? This is my second color, and I'm just gonna put the tail in the front and hold on to it with my thumb right there with the other color. And now we want to yarn over and pull through those stitches, all right? And now we're ready to begin our bobble in the other color. So we're gonna yarn over and go through that next stitch. And just as we did before, we're gonna pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. We're gonna yarn over. Oh, I wanna split my yarn, so let's try that again, okay? So you know what, let's start over just so you can see that again. So we're gonna work until one stitch before we wanna start that color change. We're gonna go into that next stitch, pull up a loop, put our yarn forward and hold on to it with our thumb, grab our second yarn, our second color, hold on to that tail, and we're gonna yarn over and pull through so we have the second color on our hook ready to begin the bobble. Go ahead and begin the bobble, yarn over, go into that next loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. I've got five on my hook, one more. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So we have six on our hook. Now you're going to put down your second color into the front, hold on to it with your thumb, and now you can grab this uh, main original color and actually you can pull it around these two pieces here and kind of trap that in. See that? So it's gonna cover over those two strands and we're going to yarn over and pull through all six of our loops here. There we go. And now we're going to lock in that bobble. You can push it like that and make your single crochet on the next stitch. Just like normal. And then continue on. So we're going to continue on there. Now, if you're going to have this bobble as only um, one color and then change the color uh, again, then you would do it the way I just showed here. And you can just have these strands and then weave them in later. But if you want to continue it on and then have this uh, other contrast color in another bobble down on the row, you can actually trap in that color as you go. So let's say we've already put back on our main color and we want to lay our, um, our second color up on top as we make our single crochet here. So I'm just gonna lay it up on top and we're gonna single crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop and single crochet. And you can see how that second color is just laying on top and it just goes right inside here and it's gonna carry along. So I'm just gonna single crochet up until where I need that next bobble. So I've made two, let's do a few more, three, four, and five. And um, let's see, I'll do one more. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this next one, pull up a loop, and now I'm going to change it because this is the one stitch before my bobble. I'm gonna go ahead and put down my main color, hold on to it, pick up my second color, and we're gonna yarn over and pull through a loop. We're ready to begin our bobble color. All right, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and last one, and before you go through all six, go ahead and put that down. Grab your uh, main color, put it over on top. Yarn over, pull through all six. 
push it to the front there. And now we're going to make our single crochet to lock that in and continue single crocheting all the way to the end of the row. And I didn't line these up like I did that last time, but that's okay. This is just a sample here. So um, let me turn this over and you can see these bobbles standing out. Really cool, really clever. You can um, carry those along there. Make sure and don't pull um, too tightly. It's gonna poke through. Mine's, mine's poking and showing through just a little bit. Um, so be a little bit looser than that. Uh, but yeah, just you can do that or you can keep the strands uh, uh, separate and then uh, just weave them in later on. This would be really fun in a blanket to just kind of put some random little bobbles in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure and get the patterns for the less bobbles or the more bobbles on our website. Click down in the video description below to get those. Have a great day and happy crochet. Bye everyone. We'll see you soon. Hey, which one was your favorite bobble? Click down below and hit that boop like icon and let us know if you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.